All right, hey everybody, it is Tuesday. Um, I just kind of want to do a little check-in with you. I've got hair, baby hairs, all over my face here. Um, okay, I did have some things that I wanted to mention, and now that the camera's on, I can't think of any of them. So hold on, let me get my paper out here. Um, a couple, uh, my week's gone fine. Everything's, um, the same as it has been. I'm working out. Um, I always forget to think about how many times I went to the gym before I turned the camera on. I went, I don't know, somewhere between three and four times last week. Uh, Zumba on my Saturdays and Sundays, I only went Saturday. I was supposed to play softball with a with a girl on Sunday and it ended up getting canceled. They needed four more girls and they could only find one, which was me. Um, and what else? Um, Sunday I had wanted to, you know, stick to my plan. Um, and again, I didn't. I did what I've been doing every other Sunday just because um, Saturday is my weigh-in day. I really wanted to kind of get a grip on it this week. Um, but you know what? I've, I'm doing all that I can, uh, and I'm comfortable with that. I don't want to, even just it, it being one week, I don't want to burn myself out and then, you know, come Saturday after the weigh-in, fall apart. I don't, I don't want that to happen. So I'm just doing what I'm regularly doing. Uh, I did want to talk about a couple things. Um, if I had one tip to give, I would um, say make it easy. The, whatever you're doing, whatever your, your system is, it, it will work in time. Um, my, uh, my favorite YouTuber is Shay Carl. I think I've mentioned it before. And his main thing, is, or well, one of them, he says so many things. Um, is time and pressure. You know, as long as we give this time and we just keep pushing on, it's going to come off. Um, so for everybody that's had a little bit of a struggle lately or it feels like they are um, have some setbacks, you know, I really believe that we can all do this and um, just keep going. Time and pressure. Um, but make this easy on yourselves. You know, if you have a plan, you have an idea of, of the foods you're going to be eating or what you need, um, just planning is, is so important. Um, if I didn't have some kind of a plan, I would be giving up every day because, um, I don't know how to explain it, just uh, prepping, prepping my food really helps you know, getting it all bagged up and already cut into two ounce portions. And anything extra that I want to add to that, I can, but um, the majority of my food is already ready to go. Um, and it gets easier. I know prepping can be overwhelming. Um, so even if you prep, say, two days ahead, um, and then every two days cook enough for the next two days, but uh, somehow I've managed to pretty well get the, the gist of what I need done for the week, or at least generally. I mean, I stop by the store probably two or three times throughout the week. I know that's a lot, but I, I work for my dad, and I, I, I can run to the buy, buy for less um, any time that I need to. And anyways, so there, there's my tip. Um, Another thing that I did want to mention is Golden Corral. Um, now, don't go in there and eat the buffet. That's not what I'm suggesting here. But I was running a lot of errands on Sunday. I, I had a, a birthday party to go to. And then after that, I wanted to go to the what I call the Big Boys Tournament. Um, definitely above my level playing, so I don't get into those kind of tournaments. But I like to go watch the final rounds of it and so I wanted to I went to the birthday party and then I wanted to go to the pool tournament and then straight to softball from there well um, I didn't want to pack anything I wanted to be able to find something um, semi healthy somewhere uh, in between th these things that I can eat because you know after time after a while we're not going to want to pack every time we leave the house or I'm not going to want to 
So I had decided that I was going to stop at On Cue. When I was going to need to eat, I was going to need to eat my snack. Um, and that is two ounces of protein and a carb. Well, that's the, that's the one that I replaced with um, a vegetable as a rapid result. And I ended up, I wanted to go to On Cue, get the, those roller buffalo roller bites I had mentioned to y'all. And I ended up going to Golden Corral and they have a, um, their to go is by the pound, it's like four fifty a pound. So whenever I, I used to work at Golden Corral and, you know, and I used to bring home dinners, it would be mashed potatoes, macaroni, and, you know, just heavy, heavy foods. I went in there, got two cups of salad, that's including the lettuce, um, bell peppers, black olives, uh, sour cream, salsa, guacamole, you know, not very much of that, just like a tablespoon of each or so. And then I got two ounces of chicken and I asked the girl to give me some Tabasco sauce because, you know, their condiments are in the cabinets and I sprinkled some of that on it. And, you know, it came out to $2.14 and that was a very good snack. And then even if I had added half a cup of carbs to that, some type of potato, rice or something like that, um, I still think it would be under $4. Um, I really believe that. I think it would be about three, three fifty. Uh, so that's an option if y'all are out and about, and y'all just feel like you can't find anything healthy. I I know there's Golden Crow that does it. I think Ryan's or Fire Mountain. I don't know if you all have all that. And uh, Hometown Buffet. I can't really think of a whole lot more. But that's just an option I thought I'd throw out there. Um, I was really impressed with a two dollar snack that. Um, tasted delicious. You know, the chicken was grilled and seasoned and it was good. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about were sweets. Um, now, on this program, I know that I keep saying that it's really strict, but I don't know. I have to have some sweets in there somewhere. And what I have found that works for me is the protein bars, the carb conscious protein bars. And it has about 20 grams of protein to, and the carbs range from 15 to 18 grams of carbs and I do replace that with one of my carb meals you know I can have three carbs a day lunch my afternoon snack and my dinner now if I do dinner I try to replace my dinner because it's about the same uh, about amount of carbs um, proteins so I try to replace it now that doesn't always work sometimes I have my dinner and then I'm like I still want something sweet so I will immediately have the protein bar with that and that's not good that's not on my plan but um, you know it does happen but generally I try to replace the meal um, same with my afternoon snack that is my ideal if I do replace a meal as my afternoon snack because I I would rather have a plate of food than the chocolate bar most days but that's that's just my theory on it um, the protein bars I really like them I have had um, <clears throat> a little sweet thing. It was a whisper on July 4th, but generally th those are my pro those are my candy bars now. And they have peanut butter and jelly, which is really good. Um, triple chocolate chip and chewy chocolate chip. And I haven't found a whole lot more than that, but I I really like them and if you go without sweets for so long my friend had told me you know she had gone a, the full three weeks without anything different um, or anything not on plan like sweet wise and she said whenever she had it I mean it was just unbelievable uh, the chocolate fix you get off of it um, okay so moving on past that I did buy one of those water weight belts um, I don't know if any of you all have ever used them. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. I just kind of, I'm going to see how it, the results come out. But I can tell you that it's pretty disgusting. Um, yeah, it works. Uh, my, it was just gross. So, anyways, I liked it. I think I'm going to continue to use it. Just kind of see what it does exactly. Um, because I do have a, a large hanging belly. Uh, that I would like to get rid of uh, faster and
So that brings me to my last thing I wanted to talk to y'all about, my non-scale victory. I was able to go to Walmart and, you know, I shop off the clearance rack, but I got two pairs of jeans size 18. And, you know, um, I did buy a pair of 18 jeans the last time I did a go around with this. And, you know, brands vary so much, but that was just one pair and I could hardly tuck myself into them. And after time, they stretched and they wore, they fit comfortably, well, not comfortably, because when I got those, it was shortly after that that I started gaining the weight back. But eventually they stretched and um, I wore them. Um, it was just really good to be able to go in there and buy 18s. Um, impressive, kind of. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah. My shorts that are size 18, they are getting easier and easier to button, but I'm still not ready to wear them out. Um, so there's my non-scale victory. Uh, I did see a tag on Rob and Julie's thing, and the only the only question I can remember now is the my username. And you know, a lot of you, uh, a few people that have mentioned me, uh, slaughter it just a little bit, but it's Rex's Moomoo, okay, and. Uh, Moo Moo is what my nieces and nephews call me um, because Tutu is um, grandmother in Hawaii or old woman in Hawaiian and you know they were trying to come up with a cute name for me and whenever my first nephew was born and I said just switch the T for an M so we went with Moo Moo and then you know this was about the the time that I started using this name for um, for an email was whenever I only had two nephews at the time. Now I have seven nieces and nephews. Um, so anyways, there was Ethan and Xander, and then Rebecca is their mother. So it was Rebecca, Ethan, and Xander, and that's Rex. And then I put the Z in there as uh, apostrophe S, Rex's Moo Moo. So I just thought that was a cute little story I'd tack on at the end of this. Um, because, and now it's like, Rexies, uh, Rexit, I don't know, there's a bunch of kids, um, but my name is still Rex's Moo Moo, and, um, there you go, I, we'll see y'all later, I think that's it, that's all I have to talk about right now, I will, um, talk to you soon, bye guys, have a good week, everybody keep it up, y'all are doing great, and, um, just keep on going, time and pressure.